Hello everyone, Cheshire the Cat on the scene with more Danganronpa. You need to investigate the murder of Sakura. Let's do this. The victim was Sakura Ogami. Her death is estimated to be around 12 noon. The body was discovered in the rec room on the third floor of the school. There is evidence of a strong blow to the victim's head. No other injuries were noted. However, it seems at some point the victim suffered from violent vomiting of blood. So, she took a hit to the head, but yeah, I think this the case this time might be a challenge. Why is that? So... The only way into the rec room is the door we just came through. That door had been jammed shut with the chair from inside the rec room. Which means the killer would have had to escape somehow after barring the door. So the door is blocked on the inside and there is no way out till we broke the window. There's like zero escape, right? In other words... <clears throat> In other words, this is a classic locked room murder. Locked room murder? Guess you might see this kind of thing a lot in mystery books or whatever. But could it really happen in real life? Is right before our very eyes like this? Hey. Are you curious to hear more about what a locked room murder entails? Sure, if you don't mind. I read Sherlock! I know what it is! That's fine. When you break down this kind of murder mystery, there are four basic types. The first is when the locked room was created after the actual crime is committed. <laughs> this simply means that the killer commits this crime and through some special method seals the room. <laughs> this mainly involves some sort of trick involving the locking of the room. Basic approaches include using a string or simple mechanism. There are a number of variations. So for that, we'd all, all we'd have to do is check the door to see if that's what it was, right? <clears throat> the second type is when the locked room already exists before the crime is committed. In other words... <clears throat> Basically, the killer used a special contraption or tool from outside to target the victim inside. You push a switch and it fires a handgun. You shoot an arrow through a gap of the door, something like that. However... But in this case, that doesn't seem to fit. There are no guns or arrows in the school, and the- What do you mean, no guns? There's a freaking Gatling gun on the second floor going into the pool! <clears throat> and the door doesn't have any gap that would allow it. Oh, there's that logic. I can probably cross off that. It's true. The third type is the killer stays in the room until it's opened up. You might in other words, they stay hidden when the door is opened. They use the confusion to blend in with the group. They pretend they showed up along with everyone else, and that's that. Sounds like it could have been possible. Maybe. It's true. And the fourth and final type is it wasn't actually a locked room at all. Not a in locked other room. Words. By that I mean there actually is an alternate escape route somewhere within the room. You see, this is a lot in novels and things, but in reality, it's generally not possible. Are you thinking we can cross that one off Indeed. too? I believe so, yes. So when it comes to locked room mysteries, those are the basics. You forgot a big one, honey! Well, there are four possibilities. In Kyoko, which of those choices seems most likely in this it's case? True. That's a good question. Answering that should be our primary focus during this trial. But right now, I can't really say. So, the way the killer set up the locked room. Until I figure that out, the truth behind Sakura's death will stay hidden. It's definitely a tough mystery. I need to concentrate and investigate as much as I can. For Sakura, if nothing else. Hello, what have we got here? Looks like some kind of wrapper. Huh? Ah, that's... Is he... no. Yeah, I mean, I gave it to her. That's a candy wrapper. Sakura got super upset when she found out Genocide Jack had attacked me, right? So after we left the nurse's office, I gave it to her. Thought it might help her calm down a little. So you gave that candy to Sakura. I found a big box of it in the warehouse. I really like them. Actually, as soon as we could get into the warehouse, I took that entire box back to my room. I made sure nobody else could get their hands on them. You really like them that much? I mean... But I wanted Sakura to get a chance to try one for herself. That's why I gave it to her. But now, they've lost all their flavor. Yeah. Hmm. What's this now? There's shards of glass scattered around the chair Sakura is sitting on. 
the glass is all red, and these are top and bottom sections of a bottle. So it must have originally been a bottle. Hmm. Huh? There's something on the ground near the glass. It's a figure. It fits in the palm of my hand. It's a Monokuma figure. Huh. Alright, we got a blood splatter over here. There's a blood stain in front of the magazine shelf. Broken man, damn. It must have come from Sakura, right? But that doesn't make any sense. Why is it so far away from where she died? Well... Hmm. Sorry, Sakura. She drew her last breath, sitting slumped forward in this chair. Okay, I mentioned it earlier, but this is totally a Tomorrow's Joe reference. So, how many people in chat actually know Tomorrow's Joe? If you did, I'd be impressed. It's a shonen series. An old one at that. But it's become one of the most classic titles in it, in manga. There's obvious evidence of the blow to the head Sakura suffered. Not me. She did not die just from a bonk to the head. No way, I refuse. Normally I wouldn't have any problem believing that's what killed her. Nah. But according to Mama Puma file, she also vomited blood. So Tomorrow's Joe was a boxing shonen series. I can see a trace of blood on her lips, for sure. So what would have caused her to vomit blood? Monokuma file specifically said she hadn't suffered any other injuries. Shonen is not my genre, but I appreciate it objectively. Poison. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm thinking. It's poison. Um. But no, Tomorrow's Joe was an old Sunday Shonen boxing series. Maybe getting hit on the head somehow caused her to start No, not a chance. Um, okay, I'll take a break to explain this. Uh, it was an old boxing series, and what it's most famous for is its ending. Uh, it was considered one of the greatest endings in Shonen history, and it's Tomorrow's Joe, Boxer Joe, in this last big match where he's fighting round after round after round after round against this top tier boxer and they're beating the crap out of each other and he eventually has to get out of the ring between breaks and they're just trying to figure out who to announce as the winner of the boxing match and Joe looks over at his girlfriend and says hey I'm struggling here can you take off my gloves for me? And it's important because those are the boxing gloves that he refused to take off while he was around the ring. If he was in the ring, in the arena, in the training room, the gloves never came off. So he asked for his girlfriend to take his gloves off because he couldn't move anymore. And when before they could even announce the winner of the of the match, Joe had ended up being so beaten that he died in that seat. And they found out he was dead right as the other guy was announced the winner. He literally died doing what he loved, boxing. It's a really moving scene, actually. Yeah. Physically, no one could physically take her on. That's fine. However, your eyes landed on a most interesting location. Interesting. Naturally. Naturally, most interesting. Don't you agree? I don't think I'd call it interesting. But it does make me wonder. The reason Sakura vomited blood absolutely has to be connected to why she died. It... Uh, is there more here? You examine the crime scene as much as possible. Anything on the... Well, let's talk to... What the heck? I already know who did it. Yaka took her hero. It has to be one of them. It couldn't stand the sight of her. I... Well, I don't want to say anything for sure until we find out more. But let me help you find out more. See, Sakura asked all three of them to meet with her. You know where? Right here in the rec room. What? After she went to the nurse's office this morning, Sakura and I both left together, right? Well, eventually she went off on her own. But when I saw her again after that, she told me... She said she'd left a note for each of them. She asked them to meet her in the rec room by noon. By noon? A Monokuma file said she died right around then. I'm telling you the truth. I heard it right from Sakura herself. 
Wait, Ferrari did give her a piece of candy, though. No, I don't think Owie would do it. I had to stop her, but she wouldn't listen. She said not to worry, but she just wanted to talk to them. I don't think she's smart enough to know how to poison someone. Besides, she cares about Sakura too much. And this is what happened. If I'd stopped her by force even, this never would have happened. Ina. It's impossible to not have regrets, I know. Hmm. But the fact that she had asked those three to meet with her. She asked them to come to the rec room at noon, the same time and place she ended up dying. Ah, crime of passion angle, possibly. Hmm. Hey! A couple pool cues are missing. Hello! What we got? There's some kind of plastic container rolling around near the entrance of the room. So... It looks like a protein drink, and it's empty. Sakura must have drank it. Everyone knows how much she loved her protein. And she mentioned more than once how protein was good for all sorts of ailments. Wrong. I wouldn't take that to heart if I were you. I know. But still, this protein can. It's got a label on it that says Chem A2. Reminds me, Sakura mentioned how the chem lab had all kinds of stuff. So she must have gotten this from the chem lab. Just a second. But that's strange. What hey. It? See what's scattered around the can? Shards of light blue glass. They must be parts of the window I broke to get inside. Correct. But they aren't just scattered around the can, they're also underneath it. What's so... that? Can't say for sure yet, but you're probably going to want to take note of it. I feel like it'll become an important clue later on. Why would it be under the glass? As it... Huh. What if it rolled there? Like, while... Because it's not like anyone could look inside while Makoto was messing with the chair. So maybe she rolled it there. Shards of glass ingested? No. I think that's... That's the only way in or out of the rec room. The room doesn't have a lock, there's no evidence that the mountings have been tampered with. The only notable change to the door is the smashed window, which happened, of course, when I broke to get inside. There's no evidence that any string or mechanism was used on the door. In other words, I don't see anything suspicious about the door itself. Losing protein shake. Yeah, I'm thinking the same thing. However. But for Sakura to have been killed. Yeah, she's not the type who would go down without a fight. It's true. <clears throat> and she certainly didn't, I would say. Hey, Raven! Hey, can we get a shout-out for Salty Raven, who finally started streaming? The nurse's office had medicine and poison, and the chemistry lab had poisons too, along with the special proteins and nutrients. She was the ultimate martial artist, strong in body, mind, and spirit. Well, finally. Yeah! Yeah, finally! And I'm sorry I kind of ended up sleeping through your stream because it was super late. But how are you doing? Thank you for the follow! Emberflame251! Thank you so much for the follow, I appreciate you being here. Dude, it's totally fine. We'll get comfy and cozy. We're in the middle of chapter 4, we're investigating a locked room murder. And I should not sound this excited to investigate a murder mystery. <laughs> but I'm loving this game, man. Like, someone told me to play this because of my love of Phoenix Wright. And I'm all for dark stories and sci-fis. Trust me. Dude, it's totally fine. <laughs> I wonder, did someone get the upper hand? You must have taken her by surprise, right? Certainly. <clears throat> they would have needed to if they expected to stand any chance against her. All right, pretty boy. What do you want? You're bothering me. There's something I'd like to talk to you about. Wow! I just noticed how often I click my tongue whenever Byakuya is talking. Well, I'm actually hopping on here soon. Ooh, I'll keep that in mind. Thank you. I hope you're doing well. And hey, make sure those thighs get appreciated, dang it. <laughs> I'm Gucci. I'm well. I'm very well. I've been at this for ten and a half hours now, and we're all good. There's something I'd like to talk to you about. Hmm. Make it quick. 
Is it true that Sakura asked you to meet her in the rec room? <laughs> so you found out. Interesting. Then it's true. I did receive a note to that effect. Yes. But what fool would do it? Fool would do what it said and risk being killed by that monster. So you didn't <laughs> go see her? Of course not. I ripped the note to shreds and threw it away. I haven't seen Sakura today at all. Slip slappery on the clap and die appreciatively. <laughs> yeah, that's Elefante. Getting appreciated and being appreciated. Uh. Ooh. In ten and a half hours? Yeah. Yeah, I'm still at it. Also, um, can we drop the. Can someone drop the usual socials for uh, Ember Flame? As a. And thank you for following, man. I really appreciate that. Man, woman, they, them. No matter what you are, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Oh. Well, that works. <laughs> I forgot I made it so people could just do it on their own. <laughs> oh, oops. Yeah, I did it be just in case there weren't any mods. <laughs> Elefante, you're good. <laughs> Phone, I love you, honey. <laughs> I love you guys. Piakia said you didn't go see here. Is that the truth? Well, until I can prove otherwise, I have no choice but to accept it as fact. If you're all finished, please remove yourself from my sight. Oh, happily. Which eye would you like me to take out? The one on the left, the one on the right, or them both? Because that wouldn't actually be killing you. Okay, thanks. I'll just smash your glasses. Then I wouldn't be harming you at all. All right, Kyoko, what have you got hey. to say? She was the ultimate martial artist, strong body, mind, and spirit. Oh, I already did talk to you. Certainly. Oh, well, I'm not seeing a whole lot left to investigate unless there's blood on a magazine. Mm. Oh, one of the bottles is missing. That explained the figurine. Weren't there five? And inside each bottle, there's some kind of Monokuma figurine. What I'm wondering is how they get those figurines inside the bottles. So... It's no different from your standard chip in a bottle. Hook both of them out, use your thumbs and stab them. <laughs> Dio style, just... <laughs> anyway. Huh? You know, where the bottle's opening is smaller than the boat placed inside? You've never seen that? Oh yeah, maybe I have. In other words... So this is the Monokuma version of that. A Monokuma bottle, if you will. Huh. I feel that I'm finally starting to make sense of things little by little. Monokuma bottle sitting on the shelf. Monokuma figurine sitting on the ground. Red shards of glass that probably started out as a bottle. Which would mean Sakura must have been hit in the head with a bo Monokuma bottle, right? Shards of glass from the Monokuma figure are evidence of that. So I think it's safe to say that the Monokuma bottle was the weapon. Um, I don't know about that. I don't know if there even was a weapon. Is it going to say I need to investigate more? Yeah, we already figured that out. I've seen as much as possible. Well, alright, fine. What else can I examine? Around 1 o'clock now, according to Monokuma file, Sakura died around 12 noon. So roughly an hour ago. Is that when Kyoko and I were moving all three go? What? No. It's already got all that. And I got that. Oh! What's this now? Huh? The locker's open, and there, on the inside, it's a handprint? Why? What's a handprint doing here? I think the bottle is to throw them off. Yeah, I think someone messed with the scene. It looks like someone touched the inside of the locker and left a handprint in all the dust. That's true. It looks quite fresh, too. I'd say someone was hiding in the locker, and they left behind a little something extra. So then... Maybe the killer hid in there until the locked room was open, don't you think? And during all the confusion, they popped out and joined the rest of the group. Wrong. Unfortunately, that's not a possibility. Why not? Think back, before we opened the door, we all looked inside the room, right? 
The locker was already open. Indeed. So there's no way someone could have hidden in there until after we opened the door. So then, what does the handprint mean? See, I don't think Byakuya fucked with that again. In fact, I don't know how much there is left to investigate here. Sakura again, maybe? She had vomited blood. The streets of blood on her lips. Yeah. So I really think she may have poisoned herself. For real, I. What am I supposed to investigate? the follow on YouTube. I appreciate that. I always get surprised with that sound alert, because Streamlabs won't let me alter that one for some reason. <laughs> Yakuya, Toko, or Hiro? It had to be one of them. Maybe the blood again? Maybe you could confirm what I just heard instead of asking for you them directly. I'm listening from the magazine shelf. Saga, right? But that doesn't make sense. Why is it so far from where she died? So... It's like a protein drink and it's empty. Saga must have had it. Hey. So get around the can. Correct. Yeah, but it's underneath so... it. Yeah, we figured that out too. Am I done here? Oh, a chair. That's the chair that I moved so we couldn't get open. There's no evidence that any kind of string or mechanism was used on the chair. In other words, there's no reason to think the chair had anything special done to it. Having examined both the door and the chair, there's no doubt the reason the door didn't open was simply because the chair was shoved up against it. This kept the doorknob from turning and the door from opening. There's no evidence of the door or chair being tampered with or anything like that. So the killer must have created a locked door from inside, not from outside. Rec room door. Yeah, okay. Listen. Have you finished with your general investigation? Yeah, I think so, for the most part. Yeah, I'm so getting pretty good at this. Then you should be able to go talk to people now. I'm on guard duty, so I can't leave. Listen to me. Which is why I've decided you'll go in my place. She's decided. She's kind of a lot more pushy ever since we had our issue. She's right. I have to go talk to the others. Sakura wanted to meet the two other people. I need to hear what they have to say. Plus, I want to check out something else. These two probably went back to their rooms. Really? You're just going to go straight down to the dorm? You're not going to question the fact that she made a protein drink out of something from the chem lab? No? Just me? Okay. Sounds like a good idea. All right, Toko. Belt. After a few seconds. Mm -hmm. uh, Who's there? Oh. Ah, the most negative aura I've ever felt. An aura of total decay. Well, what do you want? So you're back to normal. Genocide Jack isn't around anymore. Logistically, if they measure Sucker's hand and compare it to the handprint, that would knock out the possibility of slip and slide. Yeah, but it's not like they, anyone is strong enough to move that body. Same problem with Hifumi. Not to mention, she's like a woolly mammoth. Don't even say her name. It makes me sick to my stomach. I was in such a good mood, too. Look, she didn't look like she was in a good mood. Hey, I was hoping to talk to you about something. Is now a bad time? <laughs> Obviously annoyed, Luca slithered out into the hall. What do you want? You said you wanted to talk to me about something. I want to talk to you about the fact that Sakura had asked to meet with you. 
Huh? Well. I don't know what you're talking about. Byakuya had already told me she had asked to meet with him. What? She wanted to meet with Master too? Ah, uh, I just said two, didn't I? I guess now it's totally obvious, huh? Yeah, pretty much. So you can tell me about it. You can tell me about it? I admit, I did get the note. But I didn't go see her. I was scared, so I couldn't bring myself to go. Hmm. Toko claims that she didn't go see her, but... Can I really believe her? Well, until we can prove otherwise, I have no choice but to accept it as fact. Mm -hmm. It isn't good enough that I'm going back to my room. That, Toko quickly retreated to her room. Mm. Alright. God, so many dead people. Where is he? There's Yasuhiro. That's the doorbell. One with this you stream will do. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate you seeing you. I'm always happy to see you, Raven. Seconds. You know? What's up, Makoto? Did you need something? Yeah, actually, I just wanted to check something. It's about how Sakura wanted to meet with you. What? How did you know about that? Could it be? Uh, did you maybe gaze into my soul? Have your special abilities awakened in you? Uh, um... But I'm not the only one you wanted to meet with. Ogre told me herself that she asked Byakuya and Toko to come too! What? When did Sakura tell you that? Oh! Well... Uh, um... When she asked me to meet with her, of course! But... Didn't she write you a note? Uh... Yeah... A uh, note! She, uh... How about that? She gave it to me in person! And she happened to be mentioning the others, like in passing! I gotta be honest, this is super suspicious. So, then you went and met with Sakura. No way! I totally didn't! Why would I ever do that? Yeah, definitely suspicious. Actually... Last time I saw Ogre was when Hina got hurt and I, did t and I took her to the nurse's office. Don't look at me! I haven't seen her since then. You just contradicted yourself. He's so dumb though. Well, I'm here. Well, I'm here. Can you show me the note she gave uh, you? Um, um... Do I still have it? Let's see. He just contradicted himself. He said that she gave him the note personally, but that he hadn't seen her since they were at the nurse's office. Hey, come on. Ah, sorry. Looks like I don't have it anymore. Too dumb, but is it possible? The big goofy smile on his face, he pulled his hands back out of his pockets. When he did, I saw something flutter to the ground. Something had fallen out of Hero's pocket. Huh? Huh? Ah! Whoa. Ah! Quick as the wind, Hero snatched it back up again and shoved it back into his pocket. Hey, come on. Eh, sorry. Just a bit of trash I forgot to throw out. Trash? What? what? <laughs> anyway, I can't deny that Ogre asked me to be with, be with me, but I never would! So, well, if you excuse me. Hold on, that candy wrapper looks just like the one that she had. Before waiting for a reply, Hero quickly slipped back into his room. Hero said that was just trash, but there's no way that's all there was to it. Yeah, it looks just like the candy wrapper. Okay, so I've heard from Toko, Hiro, and what next? I went to look at the actual crime scene again, but on top of that, maybe I should find out more about the protein can on the floor in the rec room. Sure does this come from the chem lab? That's where I want to go. Take me to the chem lab, which is all the way on the fourth floor. Can I fast travel to the fourth floor at least? Second floor to the gym. Cool. Okay. But hold on. Asahina said that she only gave a piece to Sakura. So, unless if Sakura gave her the piece, gave him the piece herself, fast travel, scrub. Hey! Hello? What have we here? Makoto. Did you have your eye on the chem lab too? Just make sure you don't get in my way. How about you don't get in mine? Yeah, I got it. I think what you meant to say was, yes sir, I understand. I understand that you're about to write a... Can I punch him? What do we got here? My first time seeing the shelf, but I just can't get over how big it is. I should probably take a closer look at it. 
It looks like the shelves have been connected together to make one giant shelf. But more important right now, what's that powder that's been spilled in front of the shelf? Be careful not to step in it. Hello, what's this? These are footprints? They're only in front of the left shelf. Hmm. How those footprints relate to the scene as a whole? We may need to sketch out a floor plan. By we, do you mean me? How kind of you to offer. Fuck you. Insufferable smirk, he handed me a piece of paper and a pen. Well, let's go. Chop, chop. So I got to work before long I drawn up a sketch of the room. Makoto! Um, so how's this? Not bad, for you, I mean. For me. When you look at it, this is interesting. It would appear that whoever left these footprints only has been left on shelf. You needed a floor plan for that! Again, they just thought to measure. You <laughs> lower your suspects. They came, went straight for that shelf, and did whatever they had to do, and then left. That's what the footprints tell me. I see. These footprints must be. Certainly Makoto, possible. are they yours? Oh. No! What? Okay then, let me see your shoes, and I'll confirm their size for myself. I think of a reason not to, so I quietly did what Bianca hmm. said. I see, your feet do appear to be too big. Unfortunately, I must admit these are not your footprints. Unfortunately! Hmm. <laughs> but with how clear these footprints are, it should be quite easy to determine who they do belong to. And the prints really are a valuable clue. No shit. What is this anyway? It's a broken bottle in front of the shelf. Is this where all the powder came from? It's labeled on a Chem C4. Hmm. Here's something interesting. I was on the fourth floor this morning, checking things out, and at that point, this room wasn't like this. And the powder must have been spilled. So, in other words... That's right. It could only have been around the time of the incident. That really is when it happened. It must be related to the case somehow. Again. No shit, Sherlock. So what's in this one, anyway? It's all kind of dietary supplements and different medicines. Chemical scene 9. C4. No. Well. The protein drink found in the rec room probably came from the shelf. All the containers on it are labeled with letter A and a number. So I guess I can consider this part of the shelving section A. But wait. There's one bottle here that's labeled Chem C9. Did someone put it there on accident? No, I don't think anyone would put that there on accident. So in the C shelf, you can tell it's nothing but dangerous chemicals. They all look like poisons and powerful chemicals. I mean, C4 is not that hard to get your hands on. All I'm saying is in the next game, you can't fast travel if you want skill points. Oh, really? They actually, like... Do they actually, like, give you hell for that? So I guess I can consider this part of the shelving in Unit Section C. So on this shelf is... There's a bunch of chemicals that... I have no idea hmm. what they are. They're reagents. Or reagents. But simply, they're used in experiments to bring about a chemical reaction. Have you lived in such ignorance for so long? It truly must be bliss. Can I punch him? Isn't that kind of harsh? What? What? You think studying science and mathematics is no practical application in the real world? Do you really want me to answer that? That's fine. Words of a lifelong loser, which I suppose suits you. Mm. Just steal his fucking glasses and hide them. I didn't even say that. Anyway, that doesn't matter right now. I need to focus on the shelf. It was with B and a number, so I guess I can consider this part of the shelving section unit B. I don't see anything out of the ordinary here. In which case, I don't think I have to worry too much about this shelf. Let's try to find out more about the shelving unit. Looks like it's split into three sections. A has dietary supplements, B has reagent, reagents, re reagents? Am I saying that right? Does there such sass when he talks to Blondie? <laughs> Bruh, I'm about to take him to behind a Denny's at 3 a.m. Three for levels is walking. Huh. C has lethal chemicals. Sakura must have gotten the protein powder from section A. What concerns me is that in section A, there was a bottle with a label from section C. What was a bottle from- 
poison in section C doing in section A? Reagents. Okay. There's definitely something going on there. Uh, I don't think I have a whole lot left to investigate here. I just had to check out this area. Oh my god, fine. There's a bunch of yellow powder scattered on the furnace. I better not leave a footprint. Should probably take a good hard look at that powder. There's yellow powder scattered on the floor in front of the shelf. It's remnants of a broken bottle. Looks like the bottle's labeled Chem C4. There's one of the footprints in the powder. Yeah, we figured that out. Did I really have to draw a floor plan for that, though? Let the former chemistry major guide you through the ways of the chem lab. Fair point. I only know basics of physical science. According to Biakia, the powder would have to have been spilled right around the time of the incident. That's all I can tell for now. Could we just check Sakura's feet? Time to look around the rec room. No, wrong button. Yeah, I'll leave Blondie here to his, um... Whoever grabbed the C9 knocked over the C4. Hmm... I hate saying Sakura has big clumsy fingers, but... I don't think that's a falsehood. Still... That bothers me. If Sakura was just going to pull a big S on it, then why did she have to make a scene out of it? Hey. So Makoto, how's your investigation going? Kyoko and Toko, what Toko and Hiro had told me. I see. I see, so all along with Byakuya, they're both claiming they didn't go see her. But it's all too convenient. Someone must be lying. Someone's lying. Anyway. I've made some progress on my own. Sakura's body, the shelf of magazines, and the Monokuma bottles. These three things have revealed new clues. You'd do well to look at them one more time. I particularly want to look at her shoes. Hey, Gabe, that's a second. She was super upset when she found out Genocide Jack had attacked me, right? So after we left the nurse's office, I gave it to her. I thought it might help her calm down a little. That's the thing, it doesn't fit her character to make a scene about her. So it had to be someone else. Okay, headcanon. I'm gonna pitch a theory to you here. What do you think are the odds that she had given Sakura a piece of candy or two, and Sakura, feeling bad for having scared Hiro, gave him a piece to calm him down? To be nice, you know? That fits her character. Like, there's literally nothing to the candy other than it was just Sakura trying to be nice. Maybe. There's just something you just got from just Sakura's butt. Just staring off into space isn't gonna help you figure anything out. Well, yeah, hey. I know, but do you think you might actually, do you think you might need to actually examine the body? <sighs> No getting around it. Like me, Kyoko didn't recall at the thought of touching a dead body. She was completely unemotional. Why would Hiro make such a big deal over it, though? Probably because he knows it would pull him under suspicion somehow? Dude panics over freaking aliens, man! It does, and Hiro being scary doesn't want to tell about... tell about him meeting with Sakura. Yeah... I think I've grown perversely used to. Although there's still some times. I can't believe how calm you are. No matter how many times I see a dead body, I can't get it's used true. to it. That's totally normal. Then how can you... Let's headcanon more hypothesis at this point. Headcanon after the fact it didn't happen. If that didn't happen. So... Yeah, this is a theory. I imagine it's partially because I've had plenty of opportunities to touch dead bodies in the past. What? Sorry, never mind. Hey. More importantly, look here. Ah! Okay, I'm really starting to think Sakura did it herself. Cool. You see the yellow powder on her step? Yeah, it really stands out. Powder is clue number one. It, that's the C4. Unlurk. Hey, welcome back! I'm afraid I don't have an unlurk command. 
when he was just accused of murder not too long ago. I can understand not wanting to be again. Yeah, he was the victim in the la he was the suspect in the last case. I'm sure he's scared of everyone by now. Hey. Next is the wound to her head. Look carefully. It's true. Actually, even telling you that, it's incredibly difficult to spot, so let me it explain. Seem... It appears she didn't suffer a single blow, but instead received two blows to the head. Indeed. Interesting, wouldn't you say? And there's one more interesting Correct. thing. Both of her hands were spotless. There's absolutely no trace of blood in either one. It's true. So that's what I learned from examining her body in detail. I can't believe she was able to learn all that just by looking at the body. I don't think anyone but Kyoko could have pulled that off. Alright, and she said to check out the bottle again. Last scattered around the chair Sakura was sitting on. Last is all red. It's on the top of the bottom section is the bottle, right? Not even a bottle. Top of that, here the glass. Why the night? Is there a specification to it being the night? Maybe? Like she sees herself as some kind of knight in shining armor? Had she picked a pawn or a rook may have been more fitting. As a pawn for Monokuma or as a castle for Asahina. Asahina for Aoi. Hey. So, did you figure it out? There's a hidden correlation between all the bottles. Pay attention carefully and you're sure to find it. Wait, so two blows. One would explain if she fell over from the poison, but two doesn't add up. A correlation. Um, they're chess pieces. Yoko, can you just tell me what it is? Dumbass. So... I don't mind guiding you toward clues, but giving you my conclusion isn't a good idea. Each person needs to come to their own conclusion so that everyone can have confidence in the outcome. And it's not just because you don't trust me, right? No answer! <laughs> I do trust you, to a degree. Otherwise, I wouldn't have told you anything to begin with. Only to a degree? An update in the truth bullets. Hey. Actually, there's one other thing about the Monokuma bottles that's bothering me. I'd like to do an experiment to confirm it. You don't mind helping me, right? Anyway... Can you gather up the piece of the broken Monokuma bottle? Try to get the smaller pieces, too. You sure okay to some... It's okay to mess with the crimson? That doesn't matter. I've already come to... Done thorough investigation, so it's fine. And that obnoxious Byakuya is not here, so... Ha <laughs> ha! That obnoxious Byakuya! Go, girl! Nagi, that's not something you should say to the girl you spent a whole chapter having a spat with. Yeah. So then... Anyway, I need to get something from the chem lab. While I'm gone, try to gather up the glass. With that, Kyoko left the room. I don't really know what this is about, but... What choice do I have? It's better to just do it. And the dustpan got to work collecting the broken pieces. And just as I finished up... Sorry to keep so you waiting. Then. Is everything ready? Then let's get to work. What kind of experiment are we doing? In other words... I got a scale from the chem lab. We're gonna use it to compare weights. Yeah, the weights of what? The pieces of glass you collected to one of the Mama Kuna bottle, Mama Kuma bottles that's still intact. Why do you want to do that? That's the point of the experiment. It'll make sense when we're done. Listen. First, let's compare the weight of the two normal Mama Kuma bottles. It's balanced, In other words. which means each Mama Kuma bottle weighs about the same. What is this physics class? Which makes sense. Monokuma figures inside are basically the same, and nothing else would really affect the weight. Now here comes the important part. Put all the pieces you picked up on the side of the scale. Now what might you expect to see? The normal assumption would be either it balanced out or the pieces collected will be lighter. I did my best to get them all, but there's a chance I could have missed some here and there. Let's give it a try. Huh? Broken pieces are heavier? There's a gas inside the bottles. This is awesome. I knew it. Just as I thought. In Fun. other words, the results of our experiments and the correlation between each of the bottles put it all together, hey. and I believe you'll arrive at a very persuasive conclusion. So what do you think? It's all on you. Yeah, there's some kind of a gas inside the bottles. There has to be. So, may as well investigate the blood stain again. 
strange if it's true. So far away from where she died. Indeed. And there's two blows to the head. And Indeed. both of her hands are spotless. Right. Am I done here? All right. Well, what do you have to In say? Other words. Here is the correlation between each of the bottles. Put all together, we arrive at the very hey. same persuasive conclusion. It's all on you. The experiments showed that the pieces of glass on the floor were heavier than the intact Monokuma bottle. And the bottles have something in common. Ringo, herder, trying to add all this stuff up. I feel that. There's apparently an important secret hidden there. Moreover... So... Yeah, and we got to this part. Hey. Correct. So... so... Yeah. I guess I'm done here? Pawn, Knight, Bishop, Rook, Queen, King. Alright, um... So where else is there for me to investigate right now? I guess is the real question. Let me check out the chem lab again. I mean... Biapia, Toko, and Hiro don't really have a whole lot to say. Oh wait, the candy wrapper! Duh. Yeah. What the heck? I already know who did it. Forgive me. Just the worst. No. So wait, so what's left? If it's letting me leave the area, then that means I've finished investigating that. I got that from the chem lab. Hmm. So what else would there be? A liquid? No, it has to be a gas of some kind. only a gas would make the bottle lighter. What else is there? Maybe? I see. Kodo, I admit, you have a good eye for spotting useful clues. You also need to learn how to make use of those clues. Yeah, we and the liquid would be on the floor if it was only at noon. Yeah. So, oh, it's not even gonna let me investigate the powder? Alright, fine. What else am I investigating? Yoko mentioned one thing you've forgotten about. Eh? Body, the bottles, and the magazine. Oh, the magazine stand! Thank you! Here I thought it wouldn't let me leave the room until I was done investigating. Whoops. Uh, 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 uh. Meow, meow, meow. That's the way to the physics lab. Bringo burr, bringo burr. Thank you, Jazz. There, I'm not fast traveling either. I'm running. This is the magazine shows hiding a clue of some kind. Clue, clue. Huh? Huh? This magazine's upside down. Did someone put it back this way on accident? This is okay. Oy. If something catches your eye, it's important for you to explore that in detail, don't you think? Yeah, you're right. Picked up the inverted magazine and flipped through it. Toko? 
One of the pages near the center of the magazine, a word had been written in bold, bloody letters. And it said, Toko. Could this be a dying message? No. And it would appear you found it. So... This is, is indeed a dying message. Someone used their fingers to write it. But we already confirmed that both of Sakura's hands are totally clean. So, who would have written However. it? Clear, I'm not the one who put it back upside down. It was already like that when I found it a little while ago. I made sure to put it back exactly the way I found it for the benefit of others who might come looking. Um... Hey, is that... It says Toko, right? Yeah, looks like it. Toko could have cleaned her hands, though. No, I mean Sakura's hands are clean. And I don't think Sa if Sakura was in this room when she died, I doubt she would have had the ability to wash her hands inside of the rec room. The murderer trying to frame Togo. What the heck? Then she's the killer, right? No, I think someone else messed with it. <laughs> Settled. She's the killer for sure. Inclusive evidence, right? We can use it to corner the killer. I can see why you'd think that, but it's too easy. If anything, it makes me all the more suspicious. Yeah. You say if Sakura was in this room when she died. Yeah, if she was in this room when she died. It, yeah. I know you meant Toko, but I swear I heard you say Sakura. If, no, I mean Sakura. If Sakura was in this room when she died, it's not like she would have been able to wash her hands of the blood, nor would she have been able to wipe it off. Besides, it's coming from her lip. Something doesn't add up. I really don't think anyone killed Sakura. Whoops, you caught me sleeping. Your investigation was just so boring, I couldn't stay awake. Screw you, Bear. Should I do it? Is it okay? Can I? Can I? Can I? Okay, then let's begin the class trial. You know what I mean, right? <laughs> um, nobody heard that. Please go through the red door on the first floor of the school. <laughs> See you soon. Also, that wasn't my stuffing. <laughs> Are you time? The mystery of the locked room is only half solved. No, I think we've got it. I just don't like it. Dude ate too many bees. His poor stuffed bear belly can't handle any more jelly beans. No, not whatever happens. I have to make something happen. Well, we all know what this means. It's class trial time. But, for real, when Akuma made his announcement and everyone began to meet up one after another. And then... <laughs> the ultimate martial artist! Happy emote! A locked room murder mystery! Winking emote! What? What the... <laughs> huh, I've just recently discovered the power of emoticons! Like, no matter how awful something is, if you toss it in a smiley face, it turns positive. Yes, indeed. For example, <laughs> you're at a picnic and you found a dead body. Hee <laughs> hee. This is just plain creepy. Well. And how about the reverse? Phew. No matter how great something is, if you put in a sad face, it makes it look super negative. Yes, indeed. For example, hmm. do you have a hundred friends? Crying emo. He's right, that does make it seem sad. I can't wait. Now then, I can't please wait. get to the elevator. Ooh. I'll see you all down there. Dancing, dancing. <laughs> OMG, I found a dead body. <laughs> XD. What the hell is that? I don't get it. Who talks in emoticons? Just the worst. I don't get you guys. I can act so casual after murdering someone. D don't look at me. I don't think I'm acting casual. Don't be me. Uh, I mean, I didn't murder anyone. What yeah, I'm completely innocent. How dare you call me a murderer? What the heck? Whatever. 
Either way, the truth will be revealed soon enough. Because there can be no doubt one of us is the culprit. I don't know about that. The killer, the one that murdered Sakura. Bring me back to the 2008 scene phase where they all used was a modicon. I'd love to imagine all he said was less than open parentheses. <laughs> Less than, open parentheses, asterisk, period, etc, etc, etc. She was stronger than anyone I know. And yet, someone killed her. And that person is here? I like that he's questioning this. That person is one of us? Come on, it's time to put an end to this. I made my way toward the elevator, but with each step I took, I felt like I was moving further and further away from my goal. I could feel a chilling fear run through me, trying to make me rot from the inside out. But no matter how many times I gotta go through this, it never gets any easier. Only six people left, damn. We climbed into our steel prison in total silence. We watched the doors close, and felt it begin its sinister descent. The elevator lowered, uttering its all-too-familiar clunking sounds. It fell lower, and lower, and suddenly, as always, the ride was over. The doors opened once again. Just six of you, huh? Really? <clears throat> That's so few! You must be so lonely. You say, th you say that like it's not your fault we're all that's left. <laughs> I wonder, will the class trial end with one less classmate again? Or will your school life come to an end completely? Now then. Now then, are we ready to begin? You know the drill. Find your assigned seats. So the curtain opened for the fourth time. A deadly judgment, a deadly deception, a deadly betrayal. A deadly riddle, deadly defense, a deadly faith, and a deadly class trial. You wanna save the data? I do! And y'all know the drill? For those on the YouTube, we'll begin the class trial in the next episode. For now, this is Cheshire the Cat, signing off.